Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah! Is that my car? What? Is that Steve? Yeah. Yo, 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 we back with the office reaction season two episode 19 it's called michael's birthday i thought last episode was an interesting but very weird episode especially with dwight's whole family background uh, we got to meet some of the kids there was that whole moment with stanley that was absolutely hilarious and uh michael we learned about his childhood and why he's so he's the way he is pretty much and it was revealed that, you know, he just wants to be liked. He just wants to have friends. So, uh, yeah, man. But I'm ready to jump into this episode. It's Michael's birthday. We'll see what that's all about. So, if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to like the video. And uh, let's just jump straight to it. The wave of the future. These things sell themselves. Who uses calling cards anyway? You know what, Toby? When the son of the deposed king of Nigeria emails you directly <laughs> asking for help, All right, no, so no, no, raise no, your hand. Don't fall for that shit, bro. <laughs> uh, don't fall for that, Michael, at all. Don't fall for it. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's always a Nigerian... A Niger can't speak. There's always a Nigerian prince that needs help, so... <laughs> okay? Let me guess. They asked for your social security, too? Um, how is this not a pyramid scheme? All right, let me explain it again. The more people that get involved, the more people who are investing, the more money we're all going to make. Yeah, it sounds like a pyramid scheme. Yeah, it is. Scheme per se. It's. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I have to go make a call. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe Michael fell for it, fell for it though. Looking fresh, Michael. Today is my B-Day, and people around here just Happy go birthday, crazy Michael. for it. I don't know why. Michael's birthday. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch, actually. Should be an interesting one. Should be, definitely should be an interesting pe uh, episode. Man, I'm so sorry. When do you find out? They said this afternoon. Um, uh, I might have skin cancer. Oh no, oh, I was watching Grey's Anatomy damn. and there was a lifeguard on it. Damn. That sucks, man. They got donuts for my birthday. Happy birthday. You didn't know it was my birthday. Well, I guess I forgot to give you a donut. <laughs> what is this rivalry between um, Toby and Michael, man? They seem to be on each other's heads all the time. At least Michael doesn't like Toby that much. I get it, his HR, but I don't know. Skin cancer is treatable. Right. It's gonna be okay. Sure is. You don't know it's going to be okay. Don't give him false hope. Angela, you need to relax, all right? It is 1123 exactly. The exact moment when you emerged from your mother's vaginal canal. Oh, So come no. over, help me celebrate Michael's birth moment. Oh, Kevin! Oh, no, no. Dwight seems to be the only one actually putting the efforts in. He actually cares about Michael. It's just sad that Michael doesn't treat him nice. All right, what's the damage? Uh, 3960. I can deliver food. I can drive a taxi. I can and do cut my own hair. I can tell. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't gotta tell me. At least now you confirmed it yourself, but <laughs> boy, you need to see someone, Dwight. Come on, man. Thank you. Oh, I got it. Party, uh, it's the party planning yeah. committee. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> what about that meeting later? But don't expect any cookie. <laughs> I love these two, man. <laughs> They're so weird, and they just, they're perfect for each other, honestly, man. <laughs> um, no, not yet. I will. Hopefully some good news, Kevin. No one cares about your birthday. Kevin's waiting to hear if he has skin cancer. Terrible news for both of us. Man, Ke uh, what's her name? I almost called her Karen. Uh, what's her name? Angela. Angela needs to really... <laughs> she has no filter, man. She just... She can definitely be a bit harsh sometimes, man. Damn. No one cares about your birthday. Golly. That was harsh. We should probably head back. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I dare you to make an announcement. Luke, this is your father. <laughs> Comes at the table for you know what? That's actually what I would imagine if 
he was alive, if he ended up surviving at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi, definitely be some awkward moments around the galaxy overall. Like, hello, people. This is my father, Vader. I assume you already know him. <laughs> I don't know. Please don't touch that. How old are you? <laughs> I hate you. That's terrible. There you are. Good news. Did 98% of people with skin cancer fully recover? That is good news. You know what they say the best medicine is? Well, the doctor said a combination of interferon and laughter also. I mean, honestly, I mean, he just got some bad news. And I kind of do agree with Michael, you know, sort of just get your mind out of the those news. Maybe it could help, you know, just laugh a little. Don't think about it. But, you know, it still sucks, though. If I go home now, I'll just drive myself crazy. Well, you're pretty much driving everybody else here crazy. That's... come on, Michael. We're gonna take you to a very special place. A place that will make you happy. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah! What? Is that Steve Carroll? Damn, he's, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Wow, yo, Steve is actually pretty good at that, man. What the hell? It's negative. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna beat What's this, okay? We're gonna... Come here. He said negative. <laughs> Medicine community, negative means yeah. good. Which makes absolutely no sense. I don't know. It was a good day. Hmm. That was Michael's birthday. Didn't know he uh Steve was a good skater like that, so so before this episode, I knew Michael was egocentric, and after reading that title, you know, I thought to myself, why not? You know, it's his birthday, he has every right to make it all about himself, so I'll give him a pass. But Kevin was diagnosed with skin cancer, so I was hoping Michael would try to take some of the attention away from himself and try to make Kevin feel better since he considers his employees his friends, but I should have known better, man. The guy loves attention. And there was even a moment at the end where Michael suggested that they go. We're going to take you to a very special place, a place that will make you happy. And, you know, I thought, oh, wait, Michael is being thoughtful. Oh, okay, that's a surprise. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he just wanted to take him to the ice rink that he rented so they could celebrate his birthday. And it honestly doesn't surprise me because like I said, I knew Michael was a self-centered person, but despite all of that, I still felt sorry for Michael, especially when he was talking about his childhood birthdays. And um, he had the story where the girl... When I was 16, I was supposed to go out on a date, but there was another Michael in the class. So she went out with him. That was horrible, honestly. That was just... I, I felt sorry for him, man. And um, he talked about the pony story and how he got a rash. When I was seven, my mother hired a pony I got a really bad rash. And by the time I got out, the pony was already in the truck. So that was my worst birthday. So uh, yeah, you know, I know he's he has a lot of character flaws, but you know, Michael is still a sympathetic character. That's why he's my second favorite character. You know, he's ha he has his moments where he's very likable. Other times he's very unlikable. Jim and Pam spent the day together. And they were pranking each other, you know, just having a fun time at the grocery store. I thought that was cute. The Nigerian bit in the beginning, in the opening, that was hilarious. And I'm not surprised that Michael fell for it. If anything, I thought Dwight maybe out of everyone in the office, I feel like Creed would definitely come up with a pyramid scheme. And I don't know, <laughs> Dwight or Michael would fall for it, definitely. So uh, yeah, man, a cool episode. If I was to rate this episode, I'd definitely give it a, you know, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. A uh, 9 out of 10 episode would be like Dwight's speech or the injury, you know, episodes that I truly and generally enjoy that leave me in a very good mood. But majority of these episodes are, I give them eights because 
it's not a bad show. This is definitely not a bad show. You can definitely have a good time with this show. Um, yeah, that was the video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, man, and I'll be right back. Bye.